hey guys welcome back to my channel this is avi word in this video you're going to learn how to make this beautiful canadian smoke through pillow let's get started here are the things needed for making the canadian smoke um, through pillow i have this um fabric here it's called um vervet kind of fabric it has um four at the outer part that's the right side of the fabric you can see it has a little four if you can see it shining while this is the um wrong side of the fabric you can see it's very smooth inside so this is where we're going to draw our pattern then we have um tape your measuring tape very important they have a pencil you can use chalk as well, but I don't want the um, lines, the grid lines to go off. So I have to use a pencil so that even if I wash it, it will be able to clean. Okay. Then you have, um, you need to get a ruler, but I don't have a ruler right now. So I'm going to use these um, objects to rule it. You just need something tr straight actually that you can use to trace or join the lines together. And of course, my needle and thread. So let's go straight to the measurement right now. Um, I just want to do a paper illustration of how to draw the pattern for the Canadian smoke. Now, let's assume this is my fabric. So all I did was some um, to remove two inches or to leave, leave two inches out from the top like so. Let's assume this place is the two inch. Okay, then I left two inch here as well then two each at the side as well okay so now after getting this two inch i also had leave two inch at the down part so or uh, um the re-measurement right now is 26 inches that means from this my line where i remove this um, two inch to this other second line is 26 inches so normally i'm using the size of um 16 inches for the throw pillow okay so it means I added 10 inches extra in order to smoke it so that when I smoke, you know, most times when you smoke it, the material tends to shrink together, okay? Now, if you see each of these boxes, they are the grid lines. They are one inch each, okay? One inch from here to here, one inch from here to here, just like that, okay? Then this particular pattern is like this. You know, you number it. This first line is one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. Okay, that's how you're going to number it in your fabric. Then the first one to do is to mark here, like so, from down to up, like this. Okay, when I finish drawing that, I omit the next one. Note that you are also going to jump this other side of the line as well one two three four five six like that then when you omit this next line you move to the third one and you draw as well omit the next one and draw as well omit the next one and draw as well you continue like that then when you are coming to this next line you are going to omit this one this one that is next to it and come to this place instead of drawing to the same direction you draw it to the opposite direction like this as if it's coming like this okay then you omit this and come to this place and draw like this omit this place come to this place and draw like this so they are alternating each other after this line you are going to omit this next line completely and continue from the fourth line okay when you want to continue from this fourth line you're going to repeat what you have on this second line not this okay so from here it's you can see that it's coming from my left to my right now slanted down so i'm going to repeat it from the top here like so then i omit this and go to the next one like this like this like this and like this okay then when i want to come to the next line you know we are doing the one directly next to it so it means i will omit this place because i already have a pattern here so i will omit this line and come to the next line then draw it to the opposite direction like this like this like this and like this this is how the pattern goes okay this is how it goes then i will show you it right now in the fabric you can see the pattern already drawn on my fabric 
though it's not very visible but i believe that um, the paper illustration was able to give you a clue of what we're trying to do so all i need to do right now is just to start the smoking so i'll just grab my needle and start picking from one end of the slanted lines or the diagonal line then pick the other end of the line as well like this can you see that so the um needle is holding the two pieces of fabric in between so thereafter you just um, pass the needle through the two pieces of fabric again then you can pass it up to two times or three times thereafter you just um, nod it right there like this okay you can nod it once you can nod it twice but i prefer doing my twice so that it can be very firm after doing that you just um start repeating the same um process again you can see this other line is going down so i'm going to start picking it from this end again all i need to do right now is just to pass my needle first of all and stretch it i don't need to pull it so that the fabric will not come together because i'm not cutting the thread out so once i pass it there i will just knot it right here first of all so that the threads can be there to not have to draw the fabric or pull the fabric together thereafter i will now pick the other ends of the um, diagonal line like this then i can now pull it so that it's come together like this i believe you can get the logic there so I'm just going to continue like this till I go round. I want to welcome you once more to this channel. If you have not subscribed yet to this channel, kindly do that. And don't forget to like this video and give us thumbs up. I'm just going to continue making this till I go round or till I, I, I finish smoking the whole fabric. You can see I'm halfway done already. Wow, it's looking nice. So I'll just continue till I achieve everything. You can see I'm done with it. Wow, is this not looking lovely? This is amazing. You can see the patterns. Some are going down, some are coming up. This is nice. In order to join the pillows together, you need to cut um, the fabric out like so and fold the edge like I have done. If you don't know how to get the measurements and to do it like this, kindly check the link below so that you see our previous video on how to get this particular measurement. Thereafter, you just try to check. Remember that our pillow is 16 inches each, okay? So just get your 16 inches from here and leave a little allowance on all the sides like so. Thereafter, I'll just take the um, smoked part and place it over it like this. After placing it over it like this, okay, I'll just try to get the measurement of from um, 16 inches on top like so. I'll just gauge first of all before I mark it. From here to here, I have my 16. I hope you are seeing these other sides. That will just mark here like so. Mark here. Then check my 16 inches from here as well. I'll mark here. You can see that I mark the four edges with uh, my chalk. I will just take it to the machine right now and stitch it like that, okay? And get back. Wow, the Canadian smoke throw pillow is ready. Is this not lovely? This is amazing. You could do something like this to beautify your home. If you like this video, kindly give us thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, kindly do that so that you'll be getting more creative videos like this from us. And stay tuned for more videos because our next video is going to be very interesting. I remain every word. Bye.